For problem 8a of the review sheet for test 3, we need to find the six trigonometric functions evaluated at the angle negative 5 pi over 6. Now this is a negative angle and it's not in the first quadrant, so we can't calculate these ratios using solely right triangle trigonometry. We have to use trigonometry in the Cartesian coordinate system. So if you recall, the trigonometric ratios for angles graphed in the Cartesian coordinate system are determined by the position of the terminal side of the angle. So the first thing we need to do is graph the angle in question on the rectangular coordinate system. Now this is a negative angle and its measure is in radians because there's no unit shown. So since it's a negative angle, we start at the positive x-axis and we rotate clockwise. We keep going, we notice this negative right angle is pi over 2 radians or 3 pi over 6 radians. So we haven't gone 5 pi over 6. So we need to go to the negative y axis and then 2 pi over 6 more in order to graph the angle negative 5 pi over 6. We recall in particular that the trigonometric ratios evaluated at an angle depend on the coordinates of a point x, y on the terminal side of the angle and the distance r of that point from the origin. Specifically, the sine of an angle is the ratio y over r, the cosine is the ratio x over r, the tangent is the ratio y over x. The cosecant is the ratio r over y. The secant is the ratio r over x. And the cotangent is the ratio x over y. So if we can figure out the values of x, y, and r, we can figure out all our trigonometric ratios. Now we know that because we went 2 pi over 6 past this negative y-axis, the reference angle formed by our angle negative 5 pi over 6 and the x-axis is pi over 6. That's that little angle there. We know that pi over 6 is part of a right triangle. Pi over 6, that's a 30 degree angle. That's the small angle in this triangle. The other is pi over 3. So the side opposite pi over 6 has length 1. The hypotenuse, which is r in this example, has length 2. And the side adjacent to pi over 6 has length square root of 3. So we see that x is negative square root of 3, y is negative 1, and r is equal to 2. So our ratios become sine is equal to y over r, which is negative 1 over 2, or negative a half. The cosine, x over r, is negative square root of 3 over 2. So negative root 3 over 2. The tangent y over x, now that's negative 1 over negative square root of 3, which becomes the positive square root of 3 over 3 once we simplify the radical. Cosecant becomes 2 over negative 1 or negative 2. Secant becomes 2 over the negative square root of 3, which is the negative of 2 times the square root of 3 over 3, once you simplify the radical. And finally, the cotangent is negative root 3 over negative 1, which is equal to the positive square root of 3. And there are six trigonometric functions evaluated at an angle whose measure is negative 5 pi over 6 radians.